In this video, we will look at the ideas of values of quantities increasing and decreasing without bound. So here I have a um, little point here where I can vary the value of x. So I have an x-axis here and I can vary the current value of x. So I can vary it back and forth. Now let's imagine increasing x, so letting x increase, and eventually we run out of the space on the screen, so we scroll to the right a little bit, and we can continue increasing x. We could do that a little more and keep letting x increase. You can probably guess that we can continue doing this forever and ever. Now if we imagine doing this forever and ever and letting x increase indefinitely, then we say x increases without bound. So if we imagine x increasing forever, we say that x increases without bound, and we represent this idea with notation by x, arrow, and then infinity sign. So this notation right here means x increases without bound. In a similar vein, if we let x decrease, and we imagine letting x decrease forever and ever, or decrease indefinitely, then we say x decreases without bound. To represent this idea with notation, we would write x arrow negative infinity. So x is decreasing without bound. The idea here is that we, you might think of this as x is approaching negative infinity. We can never actually get to negative infinity, but this notation kind of conveys the idea that x is decreasing indefinitely, or it decreases without bound. Now let's, let's add a uh, function graph to the mix. So let's add the graph of the function f of x equals two times x cubed, and I have that here. So now, since a function is a relationship, we can coordinate the values of x and y. So let's use the graph to coordinate x and y as they vary together. So now I can again vary the value of x, and as I vary the value of x, notice that y varies accordingly, and that graph tells us how x and y vary together. So if I let x increase, so notice that as I let x increase, y is simultaneously increasing. So as x increases, y is increasing and increasing. And if you imagine dragging x to the right forever and ever, you're gonna notice that y goes upwards forever and ever. So to rephrase that, as x increases without bound, y is also increasing without bound. Now y was equal to f of x, and so we would say something like, as x increases without bound, f of x, which is the value of y, also increases without bound. So we could represent that idea using that kind of notation. As x increases without bound, f of x also increases without bound. Now let's go the other way with this. Let's imagine x decreasing without bound. We notice that if we start letting x decrease, the value of y is also decreasing. So as x decreases and decreases, y, or f of x, is also decreasing and decreasing. So we could say that as x decreases without bound, so as x decreases without bound, f of x is also decreasing without bound. So we can use a notation with inputs and outputs here. As x decreases without bound, f of x also decreases without bound.